good afternoon. Do you like to join us? Lisa Pandey is having to work extra hard during the economic crisis to attract customers to her restaurant in Corfu's old town. <laughs> Now she fears that life will become even more difficult as the government tries to outlaw people like her. It's going to be bad for business to start with because especially with the Greeks everybody smokes and if they don't smoke in the restaurant they don't go to come out in the restaurant in the bus for that it's going to be really bad and it's stupid if people want to smoke you can have a room for smoking and room for no smoking areas. Money ways it's going to be bad for the business everywhere. Some Greeks regard the ban as a breach of their civil liberties, but further down the street, the change is welcome. Look, it's very good for the restaurant, at least. It's very good uh, because the, if you stop the smoke in the closed uh, rooms, it's very good uh, to don't smell bad and the, the customers who can enjoy the, the food. 40% of all Greeks smoke and tobacco-related illnesses kill 20,000 people a year. Punitive fines are planned to deter customers and businesses from breaching the new rules. I'm happy about it because wherever I go, everybody smokes and I can't stand the smoke. So for me, it's good. I really think it's a really bad habit, but Greeks are not really used to you know, following rules and I don't think they're going to quit. It's all very well for Greece to talk tough in terms of 500 euro fines, but enforcement is a real problem in this country. Faced with mass civil disobedience, which is an art form here, the authorities often give up and allow lawlessness to continue. So this may not be Lisa's last gasp. It's very good. Malcolm Brabant, BBC News, Corfu.